Well, I've got me a fun project today. So I've got a house to tear down and an old uh, concrete block building. So this is actually some property a neighbor of mine right now bought and they're eventually gonna build the house out here. But uh, I think they end up getting 18, 20 acres, but yeah, it kind of came <laughs> with an old house and barn. So, and I didn't walk through this one. It's, uh, the windows are knocked out. There's holes in the walls. It's pretty nasty. So but yeah, you can see it's kind of there's definitely uh, <laughs> something going on in here. So uh, yeah, probably work on this in the next couple days because that actually, yeah, today's like 62, which is crazy because we had six inches of snow over the weekend, but uh, it's fairly dry. I kind of came in here because there was paint cans and there's just trash and debris everywhere. So I needed to turn my truck around. So I kind of, I didn't want to take off all the grass. But I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything I was going to tear a tire up, but uh, I got a 30 yard dumpster showing up either late this afternoon or first thing in the morning. The owner actually talk to the now it's a volunteer fire station that's out because i'm way out in the country uh about coming out here and doing one of their you know training deals or controlled burns but i guess for liability purposes they don't do that anymore here uh but surprisingly they did tell him if as long as he didn't burn the shingles they didn't care if he burned the rest of the house i don't know i'm gonna try to do my best to strip off the shingles and probably take of both of them in the roofs and i don't know it's there's a bunch of other stuff in there it's probably not the best thing to be burned i may end up burning a little bit of it i got some trees would take out that are pretty dead and some other brush and junk that i'm gonna kind of pile up so i think for today i'm gonna try to get everything knocked down uh get the roofs so the shingles kind of sorted out and determine either if i can just crunch it up and we can haul it all off or if I'll burn a little bit of it. The thing with here, we'll get the roof and everything off and the majority of this one's uh, concrete blocks. I know some people may not like it, but I'm just gonna knock them down and probably try to crush them because uh, my neighbor at my shop's actually gonna build another building and he's got a real low spot. So we talked about just using it kind of for some filler. I like the trash and insulation and all that. I'm going to try to get the wood out of here first, leave the walls if they don't fall down, and then uh, rake all this junk out and at least try to get it in that dumpster. But the problem is, like I said, I know some people are going to think it's wasteful with these concrete blocks, but it's got mortar on it and it, there's, it's just not feasible, or, you know, or cost wise to have someone come in here. And I don't need all of them. And then, like I said, they're not going to be that great by the time you chip the mortar off so my plan was to get the wood and all the trash out of here knock the walls down and then i'm just going to run over them with the 2150 and just crush them up on that concrete pad and then we'll load them in dad's truck and get them out of here so and then all these trees and stuff like that's going to go i'll burn that like i said i'll sort the buckets and the trash so i got like all the trashy stuff i'm going to try to just like i said get in that dumpster I may have to even get another one so We'll see what's left. I mean, maybe some of the lumber from the floor joists and different things like that, I may be able to put in there and burn because those two trees are gonna go and a bunch of this junk around here. So I just thought if I was gonna burn, now would be a real good time to do it while the ground's still super wet. Enough talking, let's get to it.
by and we got a little change of plans here. The winds picked up and uh, he was actually telling me, I guess this grass out here, I think he called it like blue stem and that's what he said, it catches on fire like straw or whatever. Uh, and I told the homeowner, but the way these shingles aren't really just coming off by themselves. So now uh, he's gonna go get his dump truck. There's no dumpsters available. I had one coming tomorrow, but that's all they can bring me. Uh, Cause dumpsters apparently are getting hard to find, but we're gonna try the old uh, let's dig 18 trick and just load it in the dump truck. So I talked to them out there at the dump and uh, told them I had multiple truckloads that I needed to bring. And they surprisingly gave me a pretty decent rate on it. So before I thought it was like, I don't know, 65 a ton or something, uh, a truckload, but I actually ended up knowing one of the guys that still works out there. So I don't know if that's part of it or what, but to keep things rolling, so I'm not just stuck with one dumpster a week, dad's gonna get his truck and we're just gonna smash this stuff up as small as we can and load it in the dump truck. So I like, I don't know, I'm just not big on burying certain things and burning things if I don't have to, which I know, like I said, all this stuff's probably gonna get buried in a landfill, but uh, that's what they do. So I mean, I feel better letting them do it. Also trying to make sure I put my GoPro in that other window over there and I may have just pulled it down. Yeah, I need to probably go. I better go see if I can find my camera because it was uh <laughs> somewhere over here. So uh yeah. Well, let's go find that.
This is our progress today. Uh, I've got almost, I don't know, let's see here, five hours. Five and a half hours, roughly. So it was like right around lunchtime, actually, when I got started after I kind of got everything unloaded and scraped off. So, and then uh, with that showing up, the dump was just maybe three or so miles, four miles down the road. So I think we hauled 14, 12 or 14 loads off today. So that uh, sped this up tremendously. We could have got this all done if we could have started first thing in the morning, but it's probably pretty dark. It looks like a bomb went off. Uh, I don't actually like, uh, most of the time I try to just kind of like Chris does. I just try to demolish them right inside the house and not make such a mess. But this area was pretty soft anyways, and up there was good and solid, so I just backed the truck up on the flat and just had to rake everything over to it, so that's kind of the reasoning why, uh, yeah, it looks as bad as it does, but, and we're down a GoPro. I lost my, <laughs> I finally lost my GoPro 7. I stuck it in the window, tied a rope to it that I found. But there was a broken window at the end of the house right here and I had a rope ran out and uh, well I was still tearing off the front of the house and I thought I'd make some really neat footage and I started trying to go through the roof and hit that and all of a sudden the middle of the house and the whole back just blew out and then uh, I dug around in it moved you know I just couldn't I couldn't find it I don't know the floor was brought it out in here so i don't the camera may have fell down in the floor but like i said i tried to move and dig around i'm not so much mad about losing the camera it aggravates me more that i lost the footage because i bet it looked really cool up until that point but i would kind of been thinking about getting another nine anyway because that one's been having a little bit of issues i enjoyed the heck out of this today and that 2150 <laughs> so, i could get into doing a lot more of this that thing makes such quick work of all this but now we get back tomorrow i'll finish which i don't even know if like i said it's showing up getting the rest of the uh wood and stuff out of there and try to do the best i can it's going to have some of it mixed in with that concrete but it's not a huge deal where that's the concrete and stuff over there we've actually got a spot the neighbor came out here earlier and his shop is like the street over he said someone tried to dig out a pond or dug a big hole so he's wanting any kind of filler which it's going to have a little bit of trash and wood and junk like that but it's mostly dirt and concrete and bricks so i'm going to take all these concrete blocks and load in dad's truck and yeah it's like half a block over there and he'll just back up and then dad's going to bring his loader and just kind of be pushing it down there but i told the guys like it's not going to be the best fill but he didn't i mean we're not going to bury you know like lumber and trash but uh he may get a little bit in there so that's actually working out nice yeah it's definitely been an enjoyable job today so we'll uh get everything well i just can't fuel it up because i don't have my truck but uh yeah we will just catch you guys tomorrow